I wouldn't say they're necessarily failed stars. The closest thing we've come to with failed stars, in fact, these objects blur the very line between planet and star, are these things, brown dwarfs. In a nutshell, these are objects that are not massive enough to have nuclear fusion in the cores, like all the stars do. They instead have a mass from around 13 to 80 times that of Jupiter. They do fuse elements like deuterium and lithium. These are some of the most dimly lit objects in the universe. They're also extremely cold. And we have found some instances where there are planets around brown dwarf stars. These objects form the same way that ordinary stars do, from a nebula with a protoplanetary disk. Any planets that do form around these tend to be Earth-sized objects. But in the formation process, they don't attract and form enough mass in order for them to have nuclear fusion in the core. They will shine for about 10 million years until the deuterium is gone, converted into helium, at which point they will only glow in the invisible light of infrared waves. And this will last billions of years, until eventually they cool down to become nothing but dark, cold balls of gas. People tend to think that Jupiter and Saturn are failed stars because they contain the same elements as the Sun, hydrogen and helium. But as I said before about brown dwarfs, they have nowhere near the temperature or the pressure or the mass needed to produce nuclear fusion, which is converting hydrogen into helium. But let's say for some reason you wanted to convert one of the gas giants into a star. Your best candidate would be Jupiter, because already it is the most massive object in the solar system minus the Sun. In fact, Jupiter has more than twice the amount of mass than all of the other planets in the solar system combined. If you somehow managed to find a massive cloud of interstellar gas floating in space and directed it towards Jupiter, bear in mind you would need a lot. It could potentially gain enough mass to begin fusion. If the increase in mass was about 25 times what it is today, it could become a brown dwarf, but the fusion would be very short-lived. However, if you gave it just a little bit more mass, there is a possibility it could become a true star, in which case it would become a red dwarf, where it would have the potential to outlive the sun, because red dwarfs last for trillions of years. But that's another story for another time. But if Jupiter did become a star, it could potentially cause a lot more problems for us here on Earth. But it's probably for the best that you don't mix anything with the biggest planet in our solar system.